right, class is now in session. Today we're going to be teaching you how to dangle and get through other players by deking and getting the puck around them, breaking some ankles, you know, all that kind of jive and talk. But without further ado, guys, before we get started, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get you notified when these videos do come out. And other than that, guys, let's get right into it. All right, well, that's why I started off. All right, so we're out here on the ice, and you want to know how to deke. You want to know how to absolutely break and trash people's ankles. So first thing what you're going to do is, on PC, there is going to be a E button. Your E key. E as in Edward. E as in Echo. E as in everything. E as in... I don't know anymore. She was my everything. Anyways, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Get that up. Uh, la, 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 la. Alright, so usually like uh, on the shooting tutorial, I taught you all how to shoot the puck. Now on deking and handling and also just absolutely breaking ankles. Uh, where this is like your little tutorial on how to deke and whatnot. So on, this is the E poke deke. So like, as it's like the poke check in coded ball hockey. It's all can be, also can be used to uh, dangle and get around players. So say like you get somebody over here on the right side over here. Go ahead and pull back or pull back, get around them and then get towards the net and score. So that is the first uh, poke deke slash dangle. Uh, your next part is going to be more so just going forehand backhand. So you got forehand, switch over your backhand real quick. With your mouse, you're gonna go A, back D immediately by also taking that stick and getting it over to that backhand. So just a quick little movement there. All right, same thing if you're in the backhand, backhands, you can do that. And so like this, what you're doing is you're taking the ball forward and what you're going to do is you're going to switch over to your forehand so you can do a quick little move like that. You're going to take your mouse in shift lock mode, backhand, look across like that, slow motion, and shot towards the net. But you're actually going to score instead of hitting the, the post like, like I do. Like, like, like I, I do. All right, so we're back again and we're going to go ahead and try to see it. We're going to put this all together like a quick fast paced motion. So here we go. Forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, back to forehand, around, E-drag, shot on that, and there we go. That's how you score it. Oh, 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 back to back and forehand, and off the crossbar. Oh. Why? All right, so here we go. I'm going to continuously try to get around, dangle. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh, oh. No! Easy! Hey! And, and like I said, one way that I would suggest uh, working on this is like just taking the ball around the ice and working your controls and whatnot. And I'll do that. There we go. That's that, Yeah, just work on your handles by getting around objects, keeping yourself within like a certain distance of stuff. So like try to keep yourself between these two lines and get the ball around that uh, one spot. Act like that dot's a player and then try to keep it away from them as much as you can without crossing over it, but also staying as close as you can to it as well. All right, for the next uh, trick is a spinorama. So you're gonna take it up the ice. I try to get around as much as possible and spin around. The spinorama, we're gonna go ahead and get the left side and boom, boom, oh yeah. All right, take it back downtown. Here we go, coast to coast. Here we go, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand again, miss it though. Forehand shot scores absolutely easy on the SMT net. Oh. You're playing right. You're pl <laughs> so deking comes with a lot of control. You have to ensure that you're holding on to all that control while also deking around because you can't just like you know hope for the best and have it on. So you have to at least. Work on your ability to handle and shoot the puck first before you try deking or do anything too fancy. Uh, fancy moves just get you a lot more open space, honestly. Um, but you can also create some space by just playing positions normally if the server is not stupid and like has like three players on you like I'm used to for me. But I mean, at the end of the day, that's I guess it's how the game is played. So honestly, it's just gonna be up to you and your skill set. Uh, this is just more so a tutorial on teaching you how to geek and handle and absolutely tow some people's ankles and send them to the ER room for a visit because their mama didn't give them enough milk their ankles straight. All right, well anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed that and would like to see more Roblox hockey content from the teacher himself, Dreadful Sleep, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys all in the next one. And goodbye.